Hello Slim users, this is ISOC and today we're gonna talk about the advanced settings section in SlimCat build 4. So first thing we do is actually go into settings to see what are the features inside advanced settings. We can see three buttons under this section, interface, navigation, the real dark slim and slim center. Inside interface we can see three buttons, battery icon is first so let's jump straight ahead to it. Here we can change the battery icon to icon, percentage, icon with percentage, uh, circle, circle with percentage, dotted circle and dotted circle with percentage. We can also change the battery color. Let's make that circle with percentage and change the battery color to red. And change the percentage text color to let's make that green. And the percentage text charging color to make it cyan. Now let's plug it in the charger and see how we can change the circle animation speed and see how the charging text color changes. As you can see the circle is rotating at normal speed, if I change that to fast, the circle will rotate faster and if I change that to slow, it will rotate slower. We can also change that to none so that it will completely stop. Next comes notification and QS drawer. We have a lot of options here, so let's go through them one by one. Hide notification labels hides the notification labels inside the notification drawer on the bottom one. We can also set a custom carrier label as I did here. We can uh, increase and decrease the notification transparency. Uh, I don't have a notification right now to show it to you, but the notification itself becomes transparent. We can also set shortcuts inside the notification drawer. Let's add three shortcuts. As you can see, they're at the bottom of the drawer but they're black and white apparently. That's because the icon color mode is set to all icons. If we set it to disabled, the icons will, uh, will have their proper colors. I love red so let's make that red. And as you can see, the shortcuts are now red. Next is the notification reminder. This notification reminder sits there at the top of your notification drawer reminding you to do something, anything. Here it is. You can touch it and edit it, edit the title and edit the message and also edit the time uh, the, the flip interval so that the, this interval of uh, the text flipping changes. Next comes quick settings section and let's jump straight ahead to tiles and layouts where we can change the buttons and the ordering of the, but of the tiles. Here I changed the Wi-Fi, there it is Wi-Fi and then Bluetooth. Let's change that back. And you can see that Wi-Fi is back in its place. We can also add a custom tile. We can add again WhatsApp yeah. and Hangouts. Let's make that two apps, not three. And there it is, what's up? And hang on. We can also uh, set the quick pull down option to right, left, and off. The quick pull down option is uh, a shortcut to the quick tiles. Here I've set it to right so that. When I pull down the notification from the right, I could, I could easily get to the quick settings, quick tiles screen. And if I set that to um, left, if I drag down the status bar from the left, I could 
directly go to the QS tiles screen. Smart pull down is uh, is a quick way to pull down to the QS uh, screen from wherever you want. If we set that to dismissible and we pull down from the center for example we can go directly to the QS tiles screen because there are no dismissible notifications in the notification screen. We can set that to also um, uh, persistent so that if there is no persistent notifications we can go directly to the QS screen. Quick collapse is uh, is a quick way to collapse the notification screen if we turn on or press any of the QS tiles. Like if we press sound, the notification uh, screen goes up by itself. If we turn that off, we can change the sound without it collapsing. Style, my favorite feature, is a way to customize the colors of the QS tiles. Again, everything red, green, red, green, red. This looks horrible. <laughs> okay. Lastly, is background style. We can set the style to a color fill and make that red again. And there you go, the colors, the background color of the drawer is now red. We can also set that to a custom image if you want. Yeah. Next comes status bar. With its many, well not so many, well many customizations. Let's jump to clock and date. We can here change, uh, actually turn off the clock right there. We can turn it on, we can change the color red again there it is that's red we can make it centered we can show am and pm in small and normal font size we can also show date and the date style and the date format we can also set the brightness control uh, we can drag the status bar to, to control the brightness when the auto brightness uh, option is off you can see as I drag the status bar, the brightness turns itself down and if I drag it to the right, it turns up to 100%. Next is navigation. We can jump straight ahead to global menu where we can change the power menu uh, list. We can uh, add and remove buttons as well as change the order of Let's remove all of them, add again a custom app, applications. What's up? Yeah, what's up again? And guess what? Hangouts. Yeah, hangouts. And again, my favorite IRC client. Now, as you can see, if I press and hold the power button, there it is, the list of my favorite three apps, but again, they are black and white. So let's go ahead uh, and enter style, let's change the text color to red, change the icon color to again red, and make that apply to all the, of the icons. And there you go, the text and the icon colors are, are all red. Yes, they are truly. <laughs> and there you go, that's the default uh, list with the uh, red uh, coloring. Next is navigation bar. If you can enable navigation bar, there it is. It's small, it has a, a last app button. I made that custom made. We can change the buttons in the button menu. Well, you got used to that. It's the same menu as, as the navigation, as the global menu screen. We can add, change button, add a custom app, blah, blah, blah. We can also change the ring targets. These are, this is the ring and Google is the target. We can add a custom app. No, 
on their two um, targets, Google and WhatsApp. If we remove WhatsApp from there, we can see that Google is still there. Dimensions. Dimensions is a great way to make the navigation bar or the nav bar less uh, screen eating. You can set that to the default value, which is huge. We can set that to a very small value, which is very tiny, and you can turn it completely off. I don't know why they put that here. There's already a switch uh, there to turn that off. You can also add a menu, a small menu button uh, at the right or the left of the navigation bar, or both. Again, I don't know why we do need that. You can also enable the show landscape mode of the navbar so that the navbar won't stay here when we flip the phone to navi to landscape. Amazing. Yeah, amazing. Go like this. Wow. Again, I don't know why you need that, but it's there for your customizing pleasure. Slim pie. One of my favorite uh, navigation method, other than the stupid screen eating navbar we already have on stock Android. Slim Pie actually is non screen eating and is quite fast. We have the last app button, recent search, screen off, and the power menu button, as well as the back and the classic home button. We can change the button ordering and the buttons itself. Uh, the, this is the first uh, row and we can also enter the second layer which is the second row here again we can also change the button style let me let's make everything red this looks horrible Yes, I know you do. <clears throat> Again, let's reset that. Okay. Style and dimension is a great way to change the the positioning and uh, background colors and everything slim related. Actually, we can show the background. The background is is the dimming of the screen here. We can change the color to red. So that it dims to red. Does it dim to red? Who, who cares? We can uh, disable the background completely so it doesn't dim at all. Let's move that black. We can also change the transparency of the dimmings. If you make that zero, it will actually go completely black, which is, I don't know why you need that. And if we change that to 100, again, it doesn't dim at all, it, just like disabling it completely. You can also show and hide the snap points. These are the two snap points here. If we snap to here, we can enable Pi from there. And if we snap to here, also the same thing. You can hide them. And there you go. You can also show and hide the status and the clock. Here there, there was text there, now it's gone and now it's back again. And the navigation size, you can set that to a very small value, <laughs> which is very hard actually to, to navigate with, and a very big value. You can see the buttons are, are off the screen right now. You can also mirror, mirror uh, the pie to the right so that when you have it set uh, here to the edges it's uh, it's mirrored uh, the the buttons are changed or are mirrored to the bottom next comes trigger options here we have the the options the, that lets us uh, choose where we trigger the the pie if we enable them all, we can trigger Pi from every screen edge possible. I love the button. 
and we can also reduce the trigger size when the keyboard is open so that it doesn't uh, bother us when typing and uh, swiping the keyboard because it sometimes enables uh, itself uh, when swiping so uh, we can reduce the trigger size so that it doesn't bother us anymore. Menu visibility here is a great way to have a menu button right there uh, just like the in the navigation bar we can have it always show never show and show on request which is the best because uh, when you need it it will uh, it will show up when you need it next comes one of the greatest features in slim is the uh, the real dark slim or trds in short we've covered this in the part one of the in-depth review we can have it set manual or on condition change or automatically on daytime. If we enable that, everything comes becomes black as well as some uh, gaps, some uh, Google apps. Also, they will switch their theme to black. Thank you, Slim Team, for making this epic. Last but not least is Slim Center. Slim Center is a great way for uh, users to get the latest slim stable builds directly from the, the slimroms.net website as you can see here i have no data connection at the moment so i can't check for any updates but i'm on the weekly build and when a stable build comes next uh, i will get a notification that uh, slim released a stable build for you to download and flash and we have one of the most epic options here is Slim Sizer. Slim Sizer lets us delete and uninstall any um, system uh, app uh, that is uh, that is installed uh, by default in Slim for uh, for freeing up some uh, system space for your again customizing pleasure. We've covered a small section of SlimCat today, which is the advanced settings. Stay tuned for more in-depth review videos of SlimCat. We'll talk about what's inside the device section in part 3 of the review. See you on IRC!